is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? <clears throat> happy New Year too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out in that chat? Sure. <laughs> in the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had the, a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. Oh, that's a beautiful to, uh, thing. We appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Lots of numbers coming out after the close. Lots of action out here. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 91, NASDAQ up 7, S&P's up 1.5, gold contract up $10, traded at 1265 an ounce. Silver up 12 cents, $16.66 an ounce. Both gold and silver folks caught a big bid. King dollar's getting smashed, wiped out trashed, sliced, diced, all of the above. You got the platinum market, flat, $919. Uh, uh, copper, copper is up two and a half pennies at 2.87 a pound. Light sweet crude up 86 cents, $48.75 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note up 14 ticks, 126 even. 30 year bond up 19 ticks, 153.07. And here's the culprit folks, King Dollar. Down 600 ticks, 93.275. King Doll's going after that 92 to 91 mark. Uh, what it looks like here is that good old King Dollar, folks, wants to run down to 88, where that's going to be quite a move. The euro right now is at 117 and a quarter. The yen is trading at 111.16. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a SPY at all-time high. You're up five cents right now. You're 247.46. Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials right now up 88 points. You've been as high as 21,006, uh, 21,742. Right now, we're 21,702. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, bottom line, you talk about putting uh, some points inside the Dow Industrials, Boeing. So what you have is this. You have the Dow up 88 points. Boeing is putting just that one equity, which is a $231 equity. It's up $19 right now. That's putting in 133 positive points. That being said, McDonald's has taken out 19. Travelers has taken out nine. DuPont's taken out six. You have IBM uh, taking out six. Inside the NDA, well, first, let's go to the composite, because what, what we're going to have after the close out here, it's all going to be about Facebook inside the NDX 100. Uh, we had a couple of biotechs, which we can hit the, bio, the uh, composite. The composite right now, up $6.40. You're trading at 64.18. Anything over the 63.41 says it can go higher. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX 100? Uh, up 13 bucks. 59.44, that's closer to getting inside the 58.97. So you, right now you're 50, you know, 47 points uh, over what we would have to get back inside in order to get the lower price. Now, let's go to the gold contract. So you had the Fed come out at two o'clock, come out with their statement, bottom line. The short-term rates, they stayed steady, not putting the short-term rates up. They talked about that relatively soon they were going to start bringing down 
the balance sheet. Bottom line, folks, uh, gold took off like a rocket ship. We, we just went from uh, 12.54 to 12.68. Um, you have a juice behind the move. We go take a look at the silver contract. Same type of setup inside the silver contract. Right now we have uh, silver trading up six tenths of one percent. Uh, gold is up seven tenths of one percent. So silver is up 11 cents. Now the price spread in both gold and silver today is pretty amazing. So silver traded as low as $16.28. You're at $16.65. Bottom line, it's going after the 16 dollars 91, and I expect we're going to see is we're going to see the 1782 out here. Notes: We take a look at the note market. They smashed that note market yesterday. They smashed the bond market. Bottom line: What do you have out here today? You're going right back topside again. Uh, we never made it to the lower swing point yesterday. Uh, we are doing 1.2 million contracts inside the 10-year. You're at 126.01. 30 year, same type of setup inside the 30 year. 30 year out here. I actually got to a lower low. Oh, this would be really positive. I wish the 10-year actually did this. Because you're coming into, see, you're coming into the strength that was established out here on July 14th. The low of that strength was 152.01. We got down to 152.08, rejected it. It's going to have lighter volume and you're heading topside once again. And good old King Dollar, folks. This is quite a move. So, we get over and we take a look at Queen King Dollar. King Dollar has not been able to catch a bid in over six months now. King Dollar, the move from high to low out here in King Dollar today, uh, the high is 94.115, the low is 93.220. You're talking about 900 ticks. Right now, you're down 593 ticks, you're down 26,000 contracts. Bottom line, it wants lower price. That volatility inside the currency market, folks, um, I expect it's going to continue, and uh, we'll see where the whole thing uh, is going to shake out. After the close out here today, Facebook is going to be one of the big, bigger numbers that's going to come out with numbers. Facebook right now is trading at a price point of 165.36. Uh, Gilead inside the biotech space, that's going to be coming out with numbers. That's trading 74 right now. Uh, inside the gambling space, we're talking about Las Vegas Sands. That's trading 62 right now. And inside the automobile space, you're talking O'Reilly Automotive. That's trading 188. Uh, inside the uh, <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, inside the food space, Buffalo Wild Wings. That's trading 121.35. Um, bottom line, we're going to have lots of action out here. Uh, as we come into the close this afternoon. Right now we have the uh, Dow Industrials up 81, NASDAQ is up 6, S&P is uh, uh, flat, and uh, we'll see uh, if in fact uh, this market, let's go over to the E-minis for a second. So uh, what we have inside the E-minis is this. Uh, we have had a high out here today of 24.79. Right now you're at 24.74, bottom line four, four points. Four points is nothing, folks, uh, inside the E-minis. What I do expect, uh, you're going to see, because of this fast dollar move, uh, you're going to see some higher volatility as we get, get into this close today. Dow Industrials, right now, up 79. NASDAQ is up 6.5. S&P is a flat. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Will interest rates continue to rise? For bold trades on U.S. Treasuries, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade TMF or TMV. Directions daily, 20 plus year, bull and bear, three times ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 86. You get the NASDAQ up uh, 7. Let's go over to the GDX, folks. So the GDX is the um, market New York ARCA um, uh, Gold Miners uh, Index. Uh, that is up 66 cents right now, trading $22.94. And what you're going to see, you're going to see a nice ABC structure in the way up. Uh, your A point on this is uh, the low that was established out here on the second uh 7th, rather, of um, July, uh, 20, let's call it $21, $20.99. Your B is up here at uh, $22.53, so you get the uh, bottom line $2.50. Uh, your C is uh, approximately 22 bucks, so you're talking about uh, 24.50. Right now, you're at uh, 22.90. You're blowing away the B point out here today. B point had 21 million shares traded. You're up there right now at 34 million. You have the price spread. You have the volume. You have all of the above. Uh, that little baby's making its way up to the swing high from the 6th, which is 23.86. Uh, we go take a look at uh, a couple of the uh, equities. So it was Barrick on Monday that basically got these babies down. Uh, Barrick right now, you know, it didn't break the swing, the lowest swing. Uh, bottom line, Barrick is up uh, 19 cents. You're at 16.23, and anything uh, basically wants to go back inside 15.86, saying it wants higher price. The second largest weighting inside the GDX is Newmont. Now, Newmont had a, a huge move yesterday. Uh, bottom line, following through today. Yesterday, Newmont went from 34.50 to 36.60. You're at 37.08 right now. The leader out here is Royal Gold. Royal Gold basically had uh, tucked its head up uh, first. Uh, this little baby's already running two weeks from 76 to 86. Uh, you have volume behind the move. Uh, this is a, has been a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. That is going right after its last swing high from the August of uh, 2016. That's 87.74. XAU, we take a look at the XAU. XAU today up 251. Uh, now, the cool thing here is that the XAU... Uh, that also is going right after the swing point from May, which is 88.01. We've hit 86.05. Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup inside the Gold Bugs Index. Uh, that's up six bucks today. You're at 196. This thing is going after the 204 mark. So let's go see what the Fed had to say 
uh, when we take a look at uh, how this shakes out. So Federal Reserve officials said they would begin running off their $4.5 trillion balance sheet relatively soon. That's the, uh, relatively soon was the wording, folks, that they put on this and left their benchmark policy rate unchanged as they assess progress toward their in inflation goal. Excuse me, folks. The start of the balance sheet normalization, possibly as soon as September, is another policy milestone in an economic recovery now in its ninth year. That's a quote from the Fed. Um, bottom line, let's go take a look at the Fed fund futures and see how they change, if in fact they change at all. And this is what you have. Uh, they actually, oh, this is pretty wild. They actually came down. Uh, so this is what you have. The probability that the Fed goes up in September is 4.1%. The probability in November, November, so the next meeting, no meeting in August, next meeting, September 20th, 4.1%. November 1st, 6.9%. December 13th, 39.7%. March 31st, 40.2%. Now, both of those come down. Both of those before the Fed announcement, folks, were 45%. March 21st also come down. That was 64%. Now it's 55%. Bottom line, the market views what the Fed says as very dovish. That's how, that's how this thing is shaking out. And that's why you see uh, bottom, you know, the, the dollar getting smoked, gold going topside, GDX going topside. Um, Market-wise, we'll see where the rest of this goes. Some of the higher volume stocks in this market out here, let's take a look at it. So if we take a look at the inside the S&P, you have uh, Advanced Micro, that's up 72 cents. Ford is down 23. Marbell, they had good numbers last night. That's a, that's a big move for Marbell. Marbell's up $1.70. You have uh, General Electric up 16 cents. Akamai Technology is getting smoked. That's down $7.5. Uh, you have Corning down $1.80. Uh, Nvidia is up a buck 80. We take a look at some of the Dow stocks. Boeing is the mover inside the Dow. Industrial is extraordinary out here today. Uh, Boeing's up $19.35. Big numbers. They doubled their free cash flow, folks, and they doubled it. They're expecting a free cash flow of $2.2 billion. They came in with $4.4 uh, $4 billion. So big numbers. Uh, Disney is trading up $0.36. Cents. You get the pawn down $88. United Technologies is off $88. Uh, big Mac is down $2.72. Let's go over to Big Mac. So Big Mac yesterday came out with good numbers. Stock breaks topside. Uh, it's going to be intriguing here watching Big Mac because 156.53 would get you back inside the, the lower range. It breaks topside yesterday, um, and someone's selling it out here today. We'll see where that shakes out. Uh, 3M, 3M had got absolutely smoked yesterday. Uh, 3M closed on, let's see, on Monday. Uh, 3M closed at uh, 210 yesterday. Goes all the way down to 197. Today you're trading at 199. This is just... A little dead cat, but well, it's only up three cents. Uh, bottom line, this is building cause to get into, uh, I suspect, the $190 area. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the, the volume characteristics as we uh, come into the next uh, 45 minutes here. Inside the NYSE, we've done 513 million shares. That'll put in, that'll put in a good 800 million. Uh, we go take a look at the NASDAQ composite. Uh, co composite out here right now is at 1.5. So the composite also is going to have volume out here today. That's the bottom line. You know, uh, where you're at highs and it does look like they're going to have some volume. If we take a look at the three Qs, that hasn't had volume for quite a while. Yeah, this is anemic volume in the three Qs. You had 14 million shares in the three Qs. Since we've taken out the high of the 9th of June, which had 109 million shares. Watch, it said we've done 39 million shares, which was last Friday. Monday we did 26 million. Yesterday we did 28 million. Today we're at 14 million right now. That's saying that uh, bottom line, it's going to be hard for the three Qs to do all of um, yeah, 14 million, 17, 18 million. Let's go over to, and take a look at the NQs because what we are going to see. Um, is some action inside these NQs, not only coming up to the close, uh, but because of the uh, Facebook deal, because Facebook will move the NDX 100. Uh, we've just moved from uh, 59.41 to 
49, and let's see if it was actually Facebook that's moving it. Well, Facebook just, nah, it, it's had, yeah, well, I guess it is. Yeah, Facebook just went up uh, 45 cents in the last uh, 10 minutes. Facebook today has had a high of 166, a low of 164. So, you know, you, you can expect that we're going to continue to see uh, the bulls and bears fighting it out uh, inside Facebook. The expected move in Facebook, I believe it's 5%. We looked at this this morning. So inside the option market, folks, um, they have expected moves. Yeah, it's, it's 5%. It's 5 so what that means is this. That means that when you have an expected move, you don't know which way that's going to move, but that's saying that inside the option market, they are probability-wise, is that you are gonna have a move of $8 up or $8 down. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now up 84. Nasdaq's up 10. S&P's are up a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 83. You get the NASDAQ up 8. S&Ps are flat. Uh, well, let's go over and take a look at uh, Las Vegas Sands. So after the close out here, folks, we're going to have lots of numbers. One of them happens to be Las Vegas Sands. Now, what's intriguing here, so Las Vegas Sands trading at $62.04. Uh, we bring this back, put this back a couple of years just on a weekly. Uh, what you're going to see is that you had overtaken uh, the high. We had overtaken the high the week of June 9th. 
The number we're talking about is 6338. Now, when we did that, we did it with light volume, and it looks to me like you're gonna have a failure out here uh, in Las Vegas Sands, and the wild thing is this. So watch this. So Las Vegas Sands is holding up right now. They're coming out with the numbers after the close, but watch this. If we go over to Win, Win and Las Vegas Sands trade almost the same because they compete in the same markets. Their biggest deal is Macau, China. Win is down $7.88. Now, Win came out with decent numbers. That being said, guess what? They're selling it down uh, with volume. So it's going to be intriguing. Uh, as Las Vegas Sands comes out with numbers, because that's telling me that bottom line is going to be weak and you're going to back off. PayPal, pay, uh, PayPal out here, that's trading at 58.84, and inside the option market, that is saying that the, they're looking for a 6% move. Uh, so this is going to get kind of intriguing. So uh, six, let's 360. We'll see which way uh, this baby uh, wants to go. Right now, uh, you do have PayPal at all-time highs. So, uh, BWLD. Now, this is one wild one. It's Buffalo Wings, man, and this is a buck and bronco in a huge way. Uh, when this baby comes out, you know, <laughs> the, the, the twist and turns on this stock about how volatile it can be is pretty amazing. Uh, when we take a look at it, it's been in this consolidation since October of 2015. In fact, let me bring this back further so you'll see how this, yeah. So, actually, this is pretty intense. We've been in this consolidation since, look at that, October of 2013. You know, it hit a, it hit a high of 202, fell apart, monster volume on the fall apart. You know, um, we had a high volume swing low at 122. That's what it's been going after on the weekly basis. Now let's bring this a little bit closer. Okay, so this is coming out at five minutes past four. And so 126, this has been a one-way trade. This is pretty amazing, actually. It's almost like the dollar. <laughs> so you get a total breakdown and you're breaking down. Yeah, this is going, this is going into, okay, so 109 is game here. 109. Um, be interesting to see this uh, where this goes, and this is why, folks. Because if in fact we get that, that would be not only a total breakdown. What you're going to see is this. You take the bottom of this, which is 122. You take the top, which is 205 dollars, and measurement-wise, you're saying that can go 60 bucks to 65 dollars lower than the 122. Um, longer term, but that's how that baby, you know, projection-wise would be set up. So that's going to be a big one after the close out here today. That's at 4:05. Uh, so there's there's going to be uh, there's going to be real action after this close out here. PayPal, no doubt, can move the market. Uh, Las Vegas Sands slightly. Buffalo Wild Wings can. Uh, O'Reilly Automotive. Let's see what time they're coming out. They're, com uh, they're coming out at 4.30. Okay, so futures, that, that's not going to move it uh, dramatically. Uh, O'Reilly Automotive, right now, this is a, an equity that has got absolutely toasted also. This is down from $292. That was out there July of last year. So one year, it goes from 292 to 188 Monster volume. This is saying it wants lower price. So this got that, that's also going to be a big one. Uh, Netgear, N-T-G-R. Uh, Let's go take a look at Netgear. Netgear is trading at $44.20. That's coming out after the close today. This is off a tie of uh, 60 bucks. Yeah, this, you know, 40, yeah, well, as soon as you got back inside $45, it's saying that this thing can actually, uh, well, actually, 42. 42, this is where this shakes out. October of uh, 2015, you break topside. Have the juice. You get up to 60, but watch this. I want to see if this is actually uh, um, an ABC up and that finished, and that's what it might be. So your A point on this is $8. Your B is 45 37, 47, 57, 60. 
Yeah, you know what? Okay, so check this out. This is pretty amazing. We talk about this a lot. When you finish an ABC structure on the way up or the way down, most times you do something different. This finished, it was a perfect ABC structure on the way up on a much longer term basis because this ABC started in October of 08. It finished in September of 16 because you had a consolidation that went from uh, 2011 over to 2015. That's saying this thing can go right back inside uh, the, the, I, the spec 42 is going to be game, um, and it can absolutely get uh, lower than that, which is going to be pretty wild watching that baby shake out. Um, we go over and we take a look at uh, some, let's go take a look at Amazon, because so Amazon, folks, so the big dog today is Facebook. Big dog tomorrow, Amazon. Amazon just hit a whole all-time high today, 1,053. It's trading at an all-time high, 1,052.15. And, uh, you know, we'll see what kind of firepower Amazon comes in with tomorrow. You know, this has uh, been one heck of a trade. Uh, Amazon, November of 2016 was $700. And it never gave it back from then. Uh, if you take a look at uh, a couple big givebacks, uh, you could bring this back actually to January of 2015. It was $285. You'd have to get through one monster pullback. That's when it went from $696 in December down to $474. If you made that, it didn't pull back again until $847, and then it only pulled back to $710 and took off like a rocket ship again. So, bottom line. Um, those two equities, uh, no doubt, um, are going to affect the NDX. If we go over to the IBB, uh, IBB is trading at 326. Uh, this n affects the NASDAQ composite more than the NDX. Uh, this here is going to need more juice. Uh, this is trying to test the 331, which is the downdraft from January of 2016. You know, we came down there with 61 million shares. Last week, you went up with 35 million. This week, thus far, we've done 18. So it looks like as we get to a higher price, it's starting to give it up a bit. Uh, Biogen, let's see, Biogen right now uh, trading at 295. That has juice out here today. I believe that came out with numbers. Uh, Amgen, AMGN, that came out last night. Amgen's down $5. That's the culprit. Uh, oh, this is a classic, too. So Amgen, uh, in March, was trading 184 on March 15th. By March 17th, it was at 165. It come up, tested that area, don't have the juice, back down again. It's going to have juice on the way down. You stay right there, folks, and we'll be coming right back. 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are up 83. NASDAQ's up 8. S&P's are flat. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price 
price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. David White has just announced a new online course that he'll be premiering to his subscribers the evening of July 26th, the next wild, wild west of computing. Machine learning will be the biggest growth area for tech companies in the next 10 years. Make sure you're ready to capitalize on that opportunity. With over 50 types of algorithms and growing, Dave White will tell you why there are so many areas for companies to apply this to their business to both sell and consume. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to either of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and the Technology Insider, as well as get a 30-day money-back guarantee when ordering Timing the Trade charts. Don't miss out on the next Wild Wild West of Computing as it premieres July 26th for all subscribers to Dave White Services. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. You just heard the uh, promotion for uh, uh, Dave's Wild Wild West of Computing. Uh, I got to uh, listen to that today, folks. It's phenomenal. I, I'm having Dave on uh, uh, next hour. Uh, Bottom line, uh, for all the listeners, uh, for all his Dave subscribers, you're going to be in it. It's the path. And if you are not a subscriber, you can be right now. You can test drive either the path of least resistance, the tech insider, or the art of time in the trade charts. Uh, and the way that this uh, this is truly a an online premiere, it's a you do not have to be in a room. You're going to get a link. It's an HD link. Um, Dave did a great job. It's really well done. And if you really want to understand, you know, where we're going with it, uh, it's, a, it's a good basis to start as to where we're going with it. I actually uh, downloaded uh, some software last week when I knew that Dave was going to do it. And uh, I think it's going to help me putting the data in that software. I'm sure it's going to take me a while because I'm such a novice. But bottom line, uh, great presentation. Market-wise out here, uh, we're coming into the uh, close. Bottom line is that uh, the Dow's uh, hanging uh, tough up there. We go take a look at uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook is trading at 165.35. Now let's take a look at this thing and see what this is setting up. So uh, it was intriguing when we um, we had taken a look at Google when it was coming into the close. What Google had done is this. Google had tested its swing high, then it failed on price and volume. Now, the swing high that we're talking about in the Facebook case would be 165.70. Uh, we've done 26 million shares at that price point. Thus far, we've done 20 million. So it's going to be intriguing coming right into this close to see, okay, is it going to hold that price or not? Uh, the difference... It's quite a difference, and this is what the difference is between Facebook and Google, meaning with that when Google failed. When Google failed, Google had already had a vicious downdraft in June. June, Google went from, uh, June 9th, Google went from $984 down to 935 Facebook, okay, did not. You know, when, uh, well, actually, no, it, it actually did, yeah. So Facebook went 155 down to 144. The difference is, is that when Facebook went back over that area, um, it was light of volume, but it wasn't bad. And then Facebook had volume come in the equity again on one, at 165. The way Facebook looks, I don't expect Facebook to back off. That's, that's the way it looks right now. You know, we'll see what those numbers come out with, but it looks to me like Facebook does not want to back off. Uh, we go take a look at the um, Franco Nevada. This is another gold royalty stock. Franco Nevada had come down pretty hard yesterday. Uh, bottom line goes right back topside. You know, yesterday it traded from 73 to 70. Today, you go from 70 to 73. Goes right back topside. The uh, GLD. Uh, GLD, that's going topside. And what I do expect, you know, one of the Tigers are talking about that, uh, let's go back over the GDX. The GDX had already given it up uh, 30 cents 
uh, you know, right now we're only down uh, 16 cents. So watch what happens, folks. You have a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. The, the, the gold market is so psycho that bottom line, yeah, they can sell this off a bit. You still get an ABC up. And I suspect, you know, that is going to get fulfilled. And what like is going to get fulfilled because of the fact that the dollar continues not only lower, but much lower. If we go take a look at the euro, you're going to see another break top side in the euro. The euro is trading at 117. This is a monster move in the euro. Um, because what, what the euro has done, it's totally got over its consolidation and there's not much to stop the euro right now from getting up to the 120 to actually 134 price point, which is pretty amazing. If we go over to the yen, the yen is going to be the mover inside the gold market, inside the actual physical metal. Uh, the yen out here right now, let's see. Okay, so we went from a price point today of uh, 112 to 111.15. And this is pretty, okay. So what you have is this. The yen had strength when it came off its low on the 14th of June. 14th of June, the yen's at 108. Goes to 110. 15th, goes from 109 to 110.98. So 110.98 is the number to keep your eye on. And I suspect more than likely, you know, we'll see whether we build a little bit more cars. But as we hammer into that, you break that level, we're going to see some big action. And, you know, the dollar's been saying it forever. Uh, oil, let's go to the oil market. Uh, oil out here, CLU7. Uh, oil out here. Uh, you had the EIA numbers come out today. Uh, oil traded to a low of 47.86, high 48.87. You're at 48.62 right now. You've done 850,000 contracts. That's saying that oil is trying to make it up into this $52 area. Right now you're at 48. Uh, if we take a look at the XLE, you know, the large um, integrated oil companies, guess what? Still no bid. Pretty amazing, actually. Uh, the XLE is down 10 bucks in the last six months. You're at 65.94, and it's still having a hard time catching a bid. You know, you, you, I suspect we're going to get over the 66.50. That's what it's been trying to get into. You know, it does have some good volume today, so it's pushing into the swing with volume. Uh, but before you got into that XLE, I would let that wide price spread take place if that's what's going to happen. Uh, the reason being is that Chevron and Exxon both continue to fail. And Chevron and Exxon, inside the weighting structure of the, GD, of the XLE, is uh, 38 percent. So that is one monster number, folks, uh, uh, you know, as to is that XLF, uh, XLE going to move anywhere. We go to the XLF, the banking sector. We take a look at the banking sector. Uh, that's at 25 bucks. That had caught a bid yesterday. Guess what? Gave it right up. Can't handle the high. The swing high from the 2nd of March, $25.29. We get to 25.29 today. I mean, this is a test right at the high, which is pretty wild. Um, we have a volume of 46 million. You're going into 92 million. Bottom line, that's going to be on the daily. We take a look at this on the weekly. Uh, same type of setup. Looks like it's going to fail on price and fail on volume on the weekly also. Um, JP Morgan, let's go take a look at JPM. And of course, that's uh, saying that uh, the Fed bottom line is not going to be going up on short-term rates. J.P. Morgan also failed at its swing high, $93.98. If we actually take a look at the 10-year rate, 2.28. For the last three months, the low is 2.1, the high is 2.4. We take a look at the last six months, low is 2.1, the high is 2.6. You can see what's happening out here. Uh, bottom line, we're going to be in a low rate environment, and we're going to be in a low rate environment, it looks like, for uh, quite some time for folks. Um, coming into this close, we're going to have a wild close. Uh, well, we're going to have a wild after the close. <laughs> That's how this is going to shake out. Um, Apple's going to be coming out with their numbers on August 1st, and what we are going to have here uh, tomorrow, the next day, lots of earnings coming out. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials, right now, up 75, 
Nasdaq up five, s and P's down a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels it's ready to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is now. This is a number. This is a, this would be a contrarian number uh, for Facebook, but uh, check it out. So this just came across the tape. Facebook shares are selling near the highest price ever, and option traders are showing confidence in them uh, before the social media giant releases its quarterly results today. The total number of call contracts, which of course pay off when the stock is up, uh, ex is exceeding puts right now by one to seven a level not seen since last August. Facebook is expected to uh, uh, come out, uh, you know, expected to report uh, after the close uh, that they got strong user growth um, and uh, inside not only Facebook, but inside Instagram. So we'll, we'll see this uh, where this uh, shakes out. Let me go over and put this up here for a second. So you got Facebook, it's holding its highs up here. I put this on a monthly. That's also been a one-way trade. So this gets interesting on a monthly. On a monthly, it has just continued higher, but no one's in the store. So on a monthly, you're at 165. On a monthly, it's saying it can actually get into uh, 131. It's pretty intense. Um, let's go take a look at uh, PPLT for one of the tigers inside the den. So PPLT, folks, is the uh, ETF for platinum. 
uh, physical platinum that is. Uh, and what you have out here with uh, this is that uh, that's rejected lower price out here today. And what I expect we're going to see on this also is that, now it's pretty cool, is that this actually had volume on Monday. So this is, when, when you have the volume at swing points, you get right back up to them. That's 89.65. This is telling me that uh, good old Platinum wants to, PPLT wants to make this run to 92. PL, let me see, AT, I want to get the futures on this. So we will go into... PL, let's see, I'll do PL, maybe C, PL, Z7. See what that looks like. I'll take the active contract. So the active contract's at 932. That's set up the same way. This is, so the A point would be 891, the B, yeah, you get a 50 point A to B, which would get you 970. Yeah, 972. This, this, well, first off, of course, you have to take out the swing high from Monday. But this is saying that this thing wants to run to 972 also. So, um, what, what, I, what I do, okay, uh, PLV, thanks, Danny, PLV7. Okay, so let's, let's bring the actual contract up. So, this is the October contract. You get 14,000 contracts. You. This is nice. Okay, so we got to a low of 1919. It was going into the 1915 where it had strength from the 20th. We get 14,000 contracts versus 19. This is a good setup. So this is a setup uh, also saying that it wants to get up to 972. And right now you're at 932. So uh, that baby is also saying uh, it's game. And it's going to be game, folks, because of the fact of this good old U.S. dollar. The, the dollar, um, bottom line, you know, they're selling the dollar left and right. Uh, the euro is going to the moon. Uh, Canadian dollar, let's go look at the Canadian dollar for a second. So the Canadian dollar is at 124 Canadian dollars to one U.S. dollar in three, three months. It's gone from 137 Canadian dollars to one U.S. dollar to 124. That is also a monster move. These moves, uh, big number. Big, big number, and the real question is going to be, um, as we get down uh, towards that 88, uh, if, we, if we break 88 in the dollar, man, get out of the way, because you break 88 in the dollar, I don't expect we're going to get there another three or four weeks, uh, but you break 88, you can go to 72, which would just be a mind blower. You stay right there, folks, we're going to be coming back with lots of numbers for you. Dow Industrial's up 92, NASDAQ up 8, S&P's flat, we're going to be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN. The following is a presentation of TFNN. 
The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Uh, hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Not bad. You know, you guys, over the time and with a few of your courses and seminars, you know, you taught me how to fish. That's a beautiful thing, brother. Yeah, it's true. And so what happens is I still listen all all the time, and to not only you, but some of the others, sure. to, you know, get an idea where the fish might be biting. As far as your services, they're a bargain. When you compare them to a certain prominent man with real estate courses at $35,000 and no contact with the lecturers afterwards at all, and you think of what you guys do for a few hundred, and you can get access and ask questions forever, you know, it's a great deal. No, no, we appreciate the growling problem with us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We're afraid to be ourselves around others because what? Because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. Look at us! Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 97, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat, gold contract, 12 up 850, 12.67 silver up nine cents, sixteen dollars sixty four cents. Both gold and silver had the price spread, had the volume, all of the above. They want higher price, folks. Platinum, platinum up four bucks, trading out at nine thirty an ounce. We had the copper market up two and a half pennies at two eighty seven a pound. Light sweet crude up seventy eight cents. $48.68 a barrel. Looks like uh, good old light sweet crude wants to run up to the $50, $52 area. Notes. 10-year note up 11 ticks, 125.29. 30-year bond up 14 ticks, 153.02. And king dollar. King dollar down 558 ticks, 93.330. King dollar, folks, get out the cream cheese, peanut butter, jelly, all of the above. Bottom line. That is heading on down to the 92 to 91 area. Uh, I suspect more than likely we're going to probably trade into the 88 area, and we'll see uh, whether that baby can hold. The euro is trading at 117 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 111 and a quarter to the U.S. dollar. Let's go right over to Facebook first. Facebook come out with numbers. Facebook closed at 165. It's traded as low as 158. You're at 162 right now. Uh, the culprit, uh, you know, BW inside the um, NASDAQ futures, folks. NASDAQ futures uh, went down like uh, 10 bucks in a heartbeat, uh, and I suspect what that's all about. So the NASDAQ futures uh, coming into the close went like this. You got a spike high at 59.58, and then it just dove right down to 59. Uh, f well, it hit 59.37, actually. And what that's all about... Uh, is BWLD. It wasn't about Facebook. So BWLD, folks, I, I was talking about this in the last hour. This is always a wild one. They, halt, they halted the stock. Uh, bottom line, uh, why they halt the stock? They halt the stock because they're adjusting their forecast and they're going to trail uh, the estimates. They see uh, fiscal year at $4.50 to $5. They had seen 475 to 560. They see compatible sales are in the negative. Uh, they were expecting a negative one. They're going to get they're going to get a negative one to a negative two. Uh, they had a range. Um, this this range is uh, pretty intense. So they had a range for the second quarter of 83 cents to a dollar 46. You know what their range is now? Their range is 55 cents to a buck. Um, bottom line, they're contracting versus growing. Their labor cost uh, as percentage of revenue is 32.4%. Bottom line, I, I suspect when uh, we see this open back up and you're going to see um, this is going to, this, this is trouble in paradise. That's the bottom line. Uh, this thing, you know, 
uh, I suspect we're gonna, it's going to blow apart the uh, lows of that 123. That was the bottom of the consolidation. You blow apart that consolidation, you're at 88. Um, so big numbers, man. Uh, Facebook. Let's go take a look at Facebook, see what Facebook has to say. So Facebook is trading down two bucks right now. Uh, the estimate on Facebook was nine dollars and twenty cents. They made nine thirty-two. The uh, let's see. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, revenue estimate was nine point two zero billion. They took in nine point three two billion. Um, oh, I see what's going on here. So uh, their second quarter. Um, earnings per share is actually, they missed. The estimate was $1.38, they took in $1.36. Active users, uh, the estimate was $1.32 billion, they came in at $1.32 billion. Um, yeah, so we'll see where that uh, whole thing shakes out as we uh, continue to, to go through the sour. Gilead, Gilead come out with numbers. Gilead closed at $74.19. That's trading at seven at seven. At $76 right now, their estimate was $2.14. They made $2.56. Uh, revenue estimate was $6.34. They made $7.14. So that, that is no doubt. That is a monster number. Let's go take a look at PayPal. See where PayPal uh, stood out here. PayPal closed at $58.79. That's trading $60.32. Numbers on PayPal. The, the earnings... The estimate was 43 cents. They came in with 46. They, uh, the growth volume uh, is 26%. That's a big number, man. Uh, they were estimated at 25%, but they're growing at 26%. So that, no doubt, is, is a good number. Let's go see if Las Vegas Sands come out and hit you with numbers yet. Uh, Las Vegas Sands. Yep, they come out. So Las Vegas Sands closed at 61, 60, 65. That's trading 62.50. And Las Vegas Sands, the estimate was 59 cents. They came in with 73. Um, their net revenue did beat the highest estimate. Let's see. Uh, and their gross revenue also did. Uh, gross revenue, they're expecting 3 billion. They came in with 3.14 billion. Uh, let's see. Is this LR? Let's see. Is this coming out with numbers too? Whoop. Let's go to Lamb Research. So Lamb closed at 168. Uh, that is trading 170. This come out with numbers also. Lamb Research, the estimate was $2.32. They came out with 234. Gross revenue. Oh no, I'm sorry. Estimate was $3. They came in with 311. Revenue, 2.32 billion. Two, they come in with 2.34 billion. So bottom line, um, you get a bunch of these uh, that get, that have some action behind the, the wheel. Facebook, Facebook looks like it's, it's going to be trading flat. So what we did have, we were talking about the uh, the most amount of calls had been bought in Facebook since going back uh, nine months. And bottom line, folks, more than likely uh, because of the um, amount of premium they had to pay, most of those calls, I suspect, are going to get burnt. If you listen to our man, Mr. Dave White, um, you know, on his show today, he was explaining, uh, you know, today and yesterday, uh, some of the premiums that you have to catch up with in these uh, calls. Guess what? It's just not there. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Will interest rates continue to rise? For bold trades on U.S. Treasuries, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade TMF or TMV. Directions daily, 20 plus year, bull and bear, three times ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up 97, NASDAQ up 10. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see right in the top of the carousel. I'm Mr. Dave White. This is today, 5 o'clock, folks. Uh, all of uh, 50 or 40 minutes from now, uh, Dave is going to premiere his new online trading course, the next wild, wild west of computing. You can come into this we'll send you a link it'll be on your page folks bottom line you can listen to it right at five o'clock you can listen to it anytime that you'd like to listen to it if you are a subscriber of dave's you get this automatically if you would like to be a subscriber and of the path of least resistance you can do a free trial all the tech insider all the out of time in the trade charts out of the time of trade charts comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee you can do a test trial on either one of those are the newsletters that Dave's has, and you will get that link sent to you uh, on your page. Well, it's going to be up on your page at 5 p.m. And I can tell you, folks, I got a preview of this this afternoon. Uh, as Dave was on the air, I was actually listening to it. He did it in HD. He did a freaking incredible job. Dave White, what's going on? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> you must be, man. I'm telling you, you know, you should be really proud of yourself, man. I mean, you did, you, you did, you did, a, you did a great job, man. I mean, it well, was... I have to say that uh, that the that you 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 kind of always look at some kind of job and you think, you know, it's going to take so much amount of time, and then you think, well, now I've spent twice as much amount. Of time. Yeah, you, you can tell you and did. Then, you, then mm -hmm. you find out, you know, it, it's you, it, this gets bigger and deeper, uh, and Things like this that are really game changers, they are that way. You, you kind of look at them, you go, well, that's going to be a big deal. And then you go, well, there's like 20 things I had to leave out. Well, what I just, enjoyed about it. Just to, it... Get, to the, the, get, get to the major stuff, there's just so much in this subject uh, that it, it's just massive. Right. What I enjoyed about it, you know, folks, is that I when I knew Dave was doing this, I went on the web and I Googled... Uh, Machine learning for novices, Dave, right? And then I found and I found a piece of software. I brought yep. it up. I downloaded the software. Now, what happens when you download the software, folks? You know, it's a free piece of software. It's a Java software. And it it's a beautiful piece of software and has a nice, you know, um, w w uh, dashboard, okay? But after listening to your um, webinar, I got to really understand, okay, what has to be put in that, you know, and I'm sure this is going to take me a while, but that's what I really dug about it. You know what I'm saying? That I saw the software, that I said, okay, now what do I do with this piece of software? 
But after listening, you know, and, and folks, it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to listen and then go do something right away. But I, what I got out of it, I got the full concept now. Do you know what I'm saying? That, okay, I see what has to happen in order to generate um, answers that, you know, I may or may not like, right? It's the, the, yeah, the, that, the, the problem is that, that you can, and I've actually seen a couple of people pushing trading systems based on uh, machine learning already. Okay. And the problem is that the software is so good that you can make it look very good if you want to. So I'm going to give everybody kind of a word of warning already. Sure. That th there are some people that seem either misguided or unscrupulous that are pushing this as ways of trading. And I there is a lot to it. In fact, I think we brought this up on the first one. But Goldman Sachs in 2000 had 600 equity traders. They started hiring programmers about 2008. Uh, that was down to a uh, little less than 300 equity traders uh, in t uh, 2010. Now they have two equity traders and 200 machine learning programmers and and yeah. statisticians and everything else sure. that just support the two traders. So right. you it can be incredibly effective, uh, but you also have to be very wary about people pushing. Um, stuff it, it, any kind of statistics you have to worry no, there's about there's no, there's no really doubt. behind what people are pushing there's no doubt and you so, know i'm sorry go ahead dave no i was just going to say that you know when you look at a lot of the the examples in this uh, presentation that i did yes i, I did maybe 10 out of uh, and and still there are 50 more that are there's all kinds of specialized cases where you find out that they've got the answer uh, for the kind of data that you're looking for, and it's uh, it's every time it doesn't amaze me. One day goes by, and there's something new. In fact, there was one last week that scared the bejesus out of me because they have a machine learning program that will put words in somebody's mouth, and you can't tell the difference. So you have to really, some of it's a little scary, not real scary, but it's uh, every day I see something that's new and amazing and jaw dropping in this sector. So it's, it's, it's only going to get bigger and faster and more important. Yeah. And the way that you come into, uh, well, we'll send you the link, folks, okay? You come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, if you are a subscriber of Dave's, you, the link's going to be right on your page. If you're not, guess what? You can, you can test drive the path least resistance, the tech insider, uh, the out of time in the trade charts. Uh, bottom line, we'll get that link on your page. Five o'clock, uh, you'll be cooking. Um, you know what's intriguing um, is that what I'm st I have, well, what happens, folks, is this. There's a huge amount of data out there that's free. That's what's really cool. I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm looking at this, I want to bisect and dissect kind of the real estate market, you know what I mean? So it's it's like that data is out there. You have the zip codes, you have the square footage of the houses, you know how many bathrooms in, you know what they sold for, and that's all data that's free. So it's like, and that's public records data, but they have it so organized that it's pretty cool, man. So yep, yeah, they, they, they tell you that you should spend 80% of your time making sure your data is clean and good. Right. And 20% of the time actually using machine uh, learning to go after it. So the the, that whole idea. In fact, there's websites uh, that have um, tournaments, and the companies will post the data and say, "Okay, who can offer us the best uh, mes best model to suit our data?" And everybody has uh, has it out, and there's twenty and fifty thousand dollar prizes for the people that can actually do the best job on it. Right. They give, and that's like over four weeks or something. So sure. They, they, they're fairly interesting, but the, all kinds of different data from uh, medical style data yeah. to um, uh, a lot of things you wouldn't even ever think of. Oh, I can imagine. Well, and, and like setting up the, um, the, I guess the formula, it's asking the questions that you think are right, you know, and that's, that's the, that's the pretty cool thing actually, because I think once you get into it, right, you can set up one set of questions that you, you think are right. Then set up another set of questions that you think are right, and then see what happens. Right? You know, it, it's it certainly can give you answers where there's no uh, technology before that has. Right. And I think that's that's different. And one of the when I was first learning some of it, the first thing I figured out was that it 
you know, you always wonder how good uh, the model is. And traditional models are pretty hard to score. Yes. But the way that this stuff is built in, that's the way it gets its answer, is it will run it once and say, okay, that was a little off, so I'll try something else. And that one was a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to continue going that way. That one was a little bit better. And it is basically always working on the fact that it's trying to get better at predicting whatever your data set underneath is. All and right. it's uh, and each time you run it over and over, you see, wow, it got a little better. Got a little better. Folks, come over okay. to our website at TFNN right now. You can um, test uh, drive any of these uh, what newsletters that Dave has or the out of time and trade charts. We're going to get this right on your page at 5 o'clock. Dave, thanks so much. Great job, man. You bet. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC-insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go over and take a look at uh, where we're trading right now uh, inside uh, of Facebook first. Facebook uh, closed out. At 165.61, that is trading at 166. Uh, BWLD, let's see uh, if uh, Buffalo Wild Wings is trading just yet. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. That got halted, folks, because uh, the bottom line, uh, they, they got a... Okay, so uh, let's see. Here we go. So uh, it's still it's still halted. 
we'll, we'll get that when, uh, when it's coming up. What is interesting is that what just came across the tape. Now, this is, this is a guy that uh, has always done pretty well. A billionaire, Howard Marks, who warned of his excessive risks in the markets for the past five years, has now sounded the alarm as the hazards from red-hot tech stocks uh, to invest his confidence in SoftBank's $100 billion fund coverage. He, had a, he put a 22-page memo out today, longer than uh, most of his memos to clients. He also put a video together with it. Um, and uh, so this is what he has to say. Since we never know when risky behavior will result in a market correction, I'm going to issue a warning today rather than wait until one is upon us. Marx, a 71, said in a video accompanied by the letter. This warning is likely to feel premature, and perhaps it is. But I think it is better to turn cautious too soon rather than to wait until it's too late. Among the concerns that Marx has inside his memo were the current valuations of Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. Uh, this, is, this is quite a quote. Listen to this. Uh, generally represent 30 years of their current earnings, and Marx wondered if that's sustainable. He acknowledged that the group are truly great companies, growing rapidly and trouncing the competition where it exists. But he also noted that some of them are doing so with profit growing slower than revenue or with little or no profit at all. The super stocks that led the bull market invariably become priced for perfection, Marx wrote. And in many cases, the company's perfection turns out to be eventually to be either illusionary or uh, imprimal. Okay, so this is the part that, it, that he's looking at, uh, and it has to do with, folks, uh, how much, um, number one, um, is in, inside a fund and how you push that money out. Uh, so uh, one of the richest guys um, in Japan, and certainly in, in the world, uh, is the SoftBank uh, founder, uh, his name's Sun. Now, he has um, his ambitions for a $100 billion technology fund, 93%, which has already been gathered by SoftBank Group Corporation. Uh, he was, so he's raised $93 billion already. He wanted to raise $100 billion. The Japanese company invest in record heavily relies on stakes in its Alibaba group, which has grown in value to more than $50 billion from $20 million in 2000. Um, the venture capital industry hit a wall in 2000 because the investment funds got bigger and bigger. Uh, he said the vision fund isn't for starters, but still, can you wisely invest $100 billion in technology, he said. SoftBank hasn't managed outside investors' monies before, and now it is the biggest fund in the history to do so. That, to Mark, shows investors are highly enthusiastic with a low level of skepticism. So what's happening, Sun is raising $100 billion for a tech fund. Marx is saying that you never ran money. You get $100 billion. The guy's been very successful, no doubt about that. Bottom line, where are you going to put it to work? And, you know, the structure of the fund is questionable to him because the plans to pile debt on tech companies and because investors have to buy preferred units, paying a 7% annual coupon when they invest in the, in the fund's equity. Lending money to a tech fund at that modest rate apparently is part of the price demanded of the limited partners for an opportunity to invest in the fund's equity, Mark said. I can, I can imagine the sales pitch about how lucky the limited partners are to get a chance to provide leverage for their own investments, but I don't doubt that, but I doubt I'd be convinced. We'll, we'll see where the whole thing shakes out, but uh, there's no doubt that uh, volatility is out there. Uh, Facebook, let's see, number-wise, what they're saying out here. So Facebook is trading up a couple bucks right now. The, uh, there it is, okay. Whoops. So, there she is. Give me one second. Sorry about this, folks. I'm just trying to get all the numbers put together at the same time. Nope, that's not the one. No, don't do that. Mm, yeah, I'm having a hard time finding that. Let's go over, I want to go over to Snap and see if it's doing anything to Snapchat. Nope, it's not. Snapchat closed at $13.40. That's trading at $13.46. Um, 
uh, Gilead uh, also come out with numbers. Actually, Las Vegas Sands LVS. Uh, LVS closed at uh, 61.65. That's trading flat out here right now. Uh, what we are going to have out here, too, uh, now the, there's a few gold stocks that are going to be coming out with numbers, folks. They normally come out uh, 6, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, An Eco Eagle's one of them. An Eco Eagle closed up a buck 95 today, trading at $47.38. Had price spread, An Eco Eagle looks to me like it's on its way up to this uh, $50.59. Uh, one of the big ones to watch, and this is going to affect the um, GDX, which the GDX took out a B point of an ABC structure on the way up today, is going to be Barrick Gold. Uh, Barrick closed at $16.24. And what we have here is that uh, Barrick is the equity that came down hard and took the rest of the gold and silver equities with it on Monday. And what that was about, that was about its wholly owned subsidiary, and Tanzania, which is Acacia, uh, and that equity there is having a fight with the government of Tanzania. Uh, they fined them 190 billion, with a B, <laughs> uh, dollars on Monday. And uh, bottom line is that uh, at this particular point, they're going to have to get back to the negotiation table because that just so that 190 billion dollars, folks, uh, is 200 years of. Uh, taking gold out of the ground in Tanzania. Yeah. Uh, what we did have out here today is that once the Fed come out, uh, the market looked as, at the Fed statement as uh, dovish. Uh, the GDX took off. GDX went from $22.13, closed at $22.84, took out a swing point, took it out with volume. That's saying the GDX can make it its way up to the $23.83. Uh, so good number there. Of course, what that did, uh, that uh, the J Nug, uh, the also the Nug, the J Nug is the uh, GDXJ. Let's go back to the GDXJ. So this is the small uh, juniors that was up a dollar twenty one today, thirty three dollars fifty two cents. This also blew away a B point of an ABC structure on the way up. You get your A point down here of uh, approximately thirty one dollars. Your B is thirty three. 26, so you got uh, $2.26, which gets you up to uh, 35 bucks. And right now, and 35 is that swing point. That's uh, of uh, June 14th. Took out the, had the wide price spread, took out the B point, took it out with volume. You stay right there, folks, we'll be coming right back. Dow finished up 97, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's flat. We'll get it right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video giving you crystal clear charts as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear high definition audio and video. Tiger TV exclusively at TFNN.com. Basil Chapman will be giving a two-series webinar Wednesday, August 22nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Each time the market feels its rate to have a sharp decline, formerly weak sectors rally to hold the market up. This two-webinar series will be free for Basil's opening call subscribers, and non-subscribers will also receive his daily newsletter for one month free as a trial subscription. 
Sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter, The Opening Call, and gain access to his subscriber-only webinar on August 2nd and Wednesday, August 16th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Can sector rotation buoy the market into 2018? Hi, everyone. This is Basil Chapman, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at my webinar series. To sign up for a 30-day free trial to Basil's daily newsletter and gain access to Basil's webinar, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over and we take a look at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. So Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, folks, uh, it had got halted. B-W-L-D. Uh, bottom line, uh, didn't make uh, any of its numbers, uh, missed uh, by quite a bit. Uh, that closed at $122. We are trading at 111, so you're down 10%. We take a look at this. This is going to be big problems for Buffalo Wild Wings. Cause, so watch what we did here. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings has been in a consolidation, uh, and this consolidation goes all the way back to October of 2013. Now, the bottom of that consolidation was where it was trading out here today. You're trading at the 122 level. Um, bottom line, it looks to me like we're going to be running into 88. Uh, what you had is this. You broke it. It was coming, first off, it was coming down here. If you want to see, you know, bottom line, high volume lows in a consolidation, this is about as clean as you get. We had a high volume low at 122, 18 million shares. You had another one at 122 with 15 million shares and your correlation then you go back up with 5 million so the the, the, the top of the consolidation said 5 million 11 million 14 million the bottom had 13.5 18 15 bottom line what we do last week last week you start running down into the bottom of the consolidation with an acceleration of volume we had 12.4 so it's going to blow it away and as a price projection, you just take the bottom of that, which is 122. You take the top of that, which is 205, and that's where the problems in paradise come in a big way. You're talking almost 80 bucks. You can take the 80 bucks off the 122, and that's where your price projection is. Um, last time with volume on the way up is 88. So I suspect somewhere around 88, uh, that little baby uh, more than likely. Uh, we'll get into that area. Now, let's go over to the dollar index. So the dollar, we had the Fed come out today. Well, actually, let's go, we're going to go see what the Fed had to say first. So Federal Reserve, very dovish. Okay, market is saying it's dovish no matter what the Fed says. The Fed, Federal Reserve, at 2 o'clock, said that they very soon would begin, relatively soon, they'd begin to run off their balance sheet. Uh, now, it's a $4.5 trillion balance sheet, folks. Now, a runoff specifically means that they are going to allow, they own T-bills, they own T-bonds, and they own mortgage-backed securities. Now, the average T-bill, T-bond, bottom line, they expire. You know, if we're talking about 
Uh, the bills, they expire, whether it's two-year, five-year bills. Notes, you're talking 10-year. Okay, they've been doing this since 2008, so you got to remember something. This has been a long period of time. The mortgage-backed security is what ends up happening. Even though mortgage-backed security, a lot of them have a 30-year 30 30 lifetime, uh, each and every one of us, bottom line, either move or refinance our houses approximately four to seven years. So that's all they, they're normally good for. So specifically what that means is that as those notes, bonds, and mortgage-backed securities get turned in, they are not going to reinvest that amount of money. So they didn't give the market a date when they're going to do that. They're saying relatively soon. And of course, what ends up happening now, everyone's going to, you know, go to Wikipedia in a heartbeat, meaning what is the term, the Fed terms um, definition for relatively soon, you know. Uh, we'll see uh, if, in fact, they start uh, explaining to us or telling us in September when they will start running that off. Uh, hey, guess what? Bottom line, um, that in itself uh, doesn't mean a thing, you know, uh, because of the fact uh, that would not necessarily tighten things up. And if we do go over to the Fed Fund futures, uh, the, it actually went down versus going up. The, the Fed Fund future rate, the first probability-wise, was March 21st of 2018. Well, bottom line is that that went from 59 to, that went from 65% to 59. You know, so uh, when we take a look at the, the aspect of what the Fed uh, is doing, the, the bottom line, Federal Reserve, uh, looks to me like we're going to have short-term rates for quite a period of time. Now, let's get over to the dollar. So the dollar got absolutely toasted when this announcement came out. We take a look at the dollar, and the dollar's been on a one-way trade. You know, bottom line, we hit the highs of 103 in January. Right now, you're at 93. Now, just as Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, if you want to take a look at the bottom of consolidations, the bottom of consolidations are important because if you take them out, specifically with conviction, it's a big problem. So watch this. We have been in the consol this consolidation, folks, in the U.S. dollar index since January of 2015. There's two spike lows that we're going after right now. The first one is 92,250 from August of 2015. The second one is 91,880 from May of 2016. Now, that's not necessarily support because when you get a spike low, it's like, okay, it saved itself. We're going to go after those. If we break those with conviction, which it looks like it's going to, the reason I'm saying that is that each and every time since now we've gone on six months, that the Fed, that the dollar looks like it even get a little dead cat bounce, it fails and it fails very quickly. Uh, we break that, you'll see the dollar down to 88. 88, folks, is the highs of 2008 as well as 2010. Okay, we're going to bring it one more step because the next step is the dramatic step. The next step goes like this. If, in fact, we break the highs, and I think it's going to be very tough to break those highs, especially the first time down because we'll come down so fast. If, in fact, we do break those highs, though, let me tell you something. You're going to be into $79 in a heartbeat. Thus far, the low of the dollar index was 71. That was set up in 2008. Um, so, bottom line, um, if you and I spend the money in the United States, no, not a big problem with the dollar getting so much weaker. If we're going overseas, huge problem. Because guess what? Everything's going to get more expensive. What will happen is that goods that are made in the United States, sold overseas, will be less expensive. You buy goods that are from overseas, coming into the country, they're going to be much more expensive. It's going to make a difference, and it's going to make quite a difference. Um, we take a look at the uh, Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar uh, is up in a big way. Uh, we take a look at the euro. Euro is also up in a big way. Um, uh, euro has just gone in the course of uh, five months from 104 euros uh, to 117. You know, so it takes $117 to buy one euro. It used to take 104 five months ago. Big number, folks. Uh, what the euro has done, the euro has broken its whole consolidation that had been in since January of 2015. 
Uh, we are at 117. It looks like we're going to go to 123. You get inside 123, then you get game up to 139. So it's a big number. Um, if you haven't checked out the uh, Everbank foreign currencies accounts, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Great time to look at that. There's no fees in there. Bottom line, you can open up a foreign currency account, put some dollars in there. Bottom line, if you're going to Europe, you're going up uh, Canada, you're going to Asia, you're going to South America, uh, check it out. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials up 97, NASDAQ up 10, S&Ps were flat. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. David White has just announced a new online course that he'll be premiering to his subscribers the evening of July 26th, the next wild, wild west of computing. Machine learning will be the biggest growth area for tech companies in the next 10 years. Make sure you're ready to capitalize on that opportunity. With over 50 types of algorithms and growing, Dave White will tell you why there are so many areas for companies to apply this to their business to both sell and consume. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to either of Dave's newsletters, Path of Least Resistance and The Technology Insider, as well as get a 30-day money-back guarantee when ordering Timing the Trade charts. Don't miss out on the next wild, wild west of computing as it premieres July 26th for all subscribers to Dave White Services. For all the details and to sign up today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With over $56 million in cash and over $66 million in working capital, Great Panther Silver is positioned as a company with a solid foundation and poised for growth. While completely unhedged to the price of silver, Great Panther retains 100% ownership in two producing mines in Mexico, which is the top silver producing country in the world, along with future potential production in Peru. Great Panther is highly leveraged to the price of silver, and after a great year of performance in 2016, Great Panther Silver has a strong outlook for 2017 as well. With good liquidity in trading and strong fundamentals on the balance sheet, while remaining completely unhedged to the price of gold and silver, now is a perfect time to take a closer look at this equity. If you'd like to find out more about Great Panther Silver, then go to greatpanther.com or check them out on the NYSE market, symbol GPL, or the TSX, symbol GPR. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. And, uh, you know, we had our man, Mr. Dave White, on. Bottom line, folks, uh, if you are a subscriber of his, uh, it's right up in your page right now. Uh, so uh, check it out. What we're talking about is that uh, Dave is premiering uh, this online course, uh, The Next Wild Wild West in Computing. Uh, if you'd like to get a copy of it, just come over to our website at TFNN. You can test the path of least resistance. You have a free trial. All the tech insider are the art of timing the trade charts. Uh, we go take a look at the, um, listen to this stat, folks. This is pretty amazing. If you want to know why tech, this is a blog, a Market Live blog that I'm, I'm looking at right now, but this number is staggering. If you want to know why technology has done so well in recent years, consider this remarkable fact. Last quarter, Facebook averaged a little over 2 billion, with a B, different users per month. 
The population of the entire Earth, folks, is 7.44 billion. And more than a quarter of them use Facebook once a month. This author is saying your author is not one of them. Um, that is a staggering number. There's no two ways about that. That, that number is absolutely phenomenal. Um, numbers that are, are coming out uh, that the... Let's see if Facebook is holding price here. So it looks like, um, you know, the option buyers in Facebook, they're not going to make out. Uh, the reason being is that uh, the premium uh, that was inside these options are going to, you know, is crushed in the morning like ASAP. You had the uh, Facebook close at 165. Right now you're trading 168. Uh, the expected move in Facebook was 5%. Uh, PayPal, uh, PYPL. PayPal closed at uh, 58, that's trading 60. Uh, that was expected a 6% move, so uh, that didn't fly either. Let's go see if uh, o our O'Reilly uh, Automotive come out with numbers they did. Uh, O'Reilly closed at 187, it's trading 197 right now. This has been a dog big way, big time. Uh, this stock is down from 280. Let's see what they have to say. So the estimate was uh, two dollars and eighty nine cents. They made three ten. Uh, they plan on the third quarter. The estimate was uh, three eighteen. They see three ten to three twenty. No big deal. Uh, the same still saw same store comp sales. They had an estimate of uh, two point four percent for the third quarter. They see one to three now. Um, Still trouble. There's, there's trouble in paradise there. There's no, you know, th that's coming into a, a vicious downdraft that was out there on the uh, 4th of July. The 3rd of July, this closed at uh, 220, uh, opens uh, the 5th of July at 173. Down, down with big, big numbers. No two ways about that. Um, LVS, well, actually, let's see if Kim, uh, you get uh, Kimco Realty, that closed at $19.74. That's trading at 20. Let's see if they come out with numbers. Uh, so, let's see. This revenue, the estimate was uh, 291 million. They came out with 292. Uh, earnings per share estimate was 38. They came out with 41. And uh, now this REIT here, this is a, a second tier REIT. Uh, well, not the, the REIT isn't. What they own, they they own huge amounts of um, big box stores of B shopping plazas um, and this equity has been having a, a tough time because of that. Uh, the, the equity itself um, is down from uh, 32, you're at 19 and this doesn't look like it wants to go anywhere except uh, down to that uh, $12 level. So what I do expect we're going to see out here tomorrow morning, no doubt. Um, we're going to get some action. What's up next, folks? Guess what? Tomorrow, after the close, good old Amazon, folks. Amazon closed at all-time highs out here today, 1,052.80. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture, step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night, safe night. Look forward to speaking right back here at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This is TF.
N-N. 